another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching euphoria this is episode two of season one and episode one was great honestly i watched it last night and i can't wait to see today's i did not expect um you know all the visuals that we we seen in the last episode so i do have to say warning you know if you are not 18 do not click the patreon link and watch the full episode because here on the youtube we can't post all of the crazy bits on there. We do. And if you're not 18, I do not recommend going over because it is mad, mate. Honestly, very interesting. I really love seeing it, actually. It's very different to all the other shows and I'm definitely got me engaged. Uh, I love it when people mix up it. Uh, well, mix up uh, everything that they do. And uh, I'm excited to see uh, how, how we play out, to be honest. We've got loads of different characters with different personalities. We've got people who are taking drugs, people who are obviously um, trying to fit in with the crowd. We've got a transgender girl coming in. We've got a guy whose dad is, um, well, cheating on his wife nate his dad's cheating on his wife but he slept with jules last episode again really interesting because that nate was kind of confronting jules and i don't know he's kind of like peer pressure and bullying her trying to take the mick out of her when she was at the party you know pretending that nobody knows who she is and why she's here you know she don't deserve to be there and she ended up leaving and uh you know rue went home with her and she ended up keeping out her house because she told the mum that she's off the drugs and um you know she took a, a fake drugs test so to speak to prove that as well after she come out of rehab but she's still on hard stuff fez as well he was telling her you know like i know that i'm a dealer and stuff but i want you to be okay you know you're one of my friends um what happened to you uh, a couple of weeks ago or last year whatever he said like it, it scared us and i don't want to see you in that state again and he was referencing a fa uh where she overdosed and a little sister found her and even though like she wants to stop and um she's struggling with that addiction and she's still doing it so i mean it's really exciting the different ladies different characters they've all got different personalities and they've all got their own things going on so i mean i feel like that's why a lot of people are engaged in this program not only because it's like visually like whoa they expect that but also like people can relate to different personalities and and the stuff that they're going through so i'm well excited honestly like i was saying if you want to watch the full episode you can click the link in the description it is free and i only recommend it if you are over 18 if you're on today's episode here on the youtube please smash the like if you do enjoy it and subscribe if you're new and like i said this is episode two of euphoria i can't wait for it let's jump into today's episode <laughs> Sometimes when I get really high, I kind of think I'm psychic. When Nate Jacobs was 11 years old, he found his dad's porn collection. Then he quickly realized that the colored cases and placement were no accident. Patty. Every video was basically the same. Oh shit, he'd be panicking if he was that kid now. Oh god. Admired that you, but no one in this world will ever root for you. But the farther you go, the sharper their blade. Yo, mate, I love how they give you that kid a birthmark, mate. Attention to detail. He joined the football team as a freshman and quickly excelled. He loved the crowds, the pats on the back, the cheers. He hated how casual his teammates were about being naked. He made a long mental checklist of the things he liked and disliked about women. He liked tan lines, long necks, slender shoulders. He hated girls who sat like boys. But there was nothing on right. planet Earth he hated more than body hair. Yo, his dad's done a number on him, man. What I see when he was a kid. He knew the world was full of men who wanted to hurt Maddie. Men who would hang out the windows of their cars and scream obscenities at her. He did, however, like to think about the things he'd do to protect her. Oh. <laughs> Maddie could be a real bitch. Like that night at McKay's party. And he knew he had anger issues. It's not like there was Whoa. anything in his life he could trace it back to. Yo, what was that guy? That was a very interesting introduction to the episode. But it's all focused in on Nate. Now, obviously, I was saying last episode that he was my most disliked in the last episode. He was, you know, I'm not going to change that. But I also said I'm all for character progression. And the more you understand somebody, the more you get to, you know, like, the more you get to, yeah, understand where they're coming from, how they're feeling, how they've been brought up, what, what like, the actions that they're doing. And, like, listening to that and seeing what he's seen when he was a kid, you can see why... Or how he's become the person that he currently is. Now, his checklist and girls that he likes is massively long, mate. Literally, it's a list as long as my arm. All the different things that he, he, he prefers in a woman. Now, what I thought was interesting is, she's just said that you can't put a finger on it. Uh, you know, like one thing that makes him who he is. That's what she literally just said. And you can literally put a finger on it, <laughs> pretty much. It's seeing and experiencing that as a kid, watching his dad on those tapes when he found it. 
And that is the reason why he said that he's not a big fan of... Um, did, was she saying, like, body hair and, like, girls that are kind of like lads, you know, if you sit like a lad and stuff like that. So that's why I'm kind of feeling like he be uncomfortable around Jules. If, if, if he's realised that she's transgender... Or, obviously, when he finds out that she's trans, then he might feel uncomfortable and obviously treat it differently because of the experience that he's had. And that's obviously his dad. It's all stemming from his dad. But I'm going to get my rod, yeah? I'm going to cast it out in the pond and I'm going to leave my bait there and say that them two are going to hook up at least once, Jules and Nate. It was the first day of school. My heart was racing. I'd made a new best friend and for the first time since getting out of rehab, I was feeling good about the world. Let's get high. Let me get high. I feel like this isn't a good idea. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Yo, only have half of it, Jules, man. Oh, in it, mate. That's when they get uncool. It's actually a very narrow window of cool. And once you pass through that window of cool, just embarrassing. I don't want to turn this into a competition. I win. Wait, you're alive? <laughs> <laughs> Last night, while texting with Nate, Maddie had an idea. Hey, I'm Ethan. He's gonna be a mass shooter. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just like <sighs> first thing that came to mind. I'd like each of you to get up and tell us a five minute story about your summer. Looks like we have our first volunteer, Rue. Yo, this teacher's put her right on the spot, mate. We recommend taking her directly to the rehabilitation center. This this summer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm having trouble uh like re remembering. Do you know what right? I've got to say big up to all the parents that are in those positions and you still going through it trying to help your child, you know, instead of kicking them out to the curb, right? You you're just going for it, mate. It is an uphill battle constantly, but that's what you're there for, you know? You're there to get them on the straight and narrow, even though it's hard, mate. Honestly, it really is. Like, you could tell in that in that clip there, her mum was absolutely stressed and fuming at her with near enough every part of the scene. And even when she's threatening her, like, she's going to stab her, get me out of the house. The next clip, she's there, she's on the floor, she's holding her. That's what it is, mate. It's, it's absolutely solid, because no matter what, you want to be the best parent you can be. And... You can't control those situations that they get put in. All she could do is stand there and constantly support them, even if you disagree with all the decisions that they make. And it feels like, you know, you're like a broken record and you're doing the same thing, like in Santa, you know, definition, doing the same thing over and over again. But that's what you got to do, mate. you just got to be there for him. And then hopefully one day it clicks and they want to get better themselves. Look, see what I mean? Both of them are there, mum and sister. Do I have to do this? Yo, I don't like what that teacher just done, me. Are you okay? You're so fucking stupid, Lexi. Why? Because I already flushed everything down the fucking toilet. Well, you're like one of my best friends. Because we went to fucking preschool together? You say all this, but what happens in three days when you knock on my door asking me to piss in some Tylenol bottle? Jack, he's getting jumped off, Nate. Oh, there he is, look. Look how long he's folding for. My name is Ali, and I'm an addict. The first time I tried Oxycontin, I was 13. Yo, they made her look young here. Yeah. That's well good what they've done. Like, literally, she looks well young now. I used to take care of my dad after school. He had, like, a bunch of pills. He was too out of it to know I was high. Not like I'm the best time with you. I'm gonna need you to do me a big favor, you see. I'm gonna need you to backdate this slip. I'm gonna find a... Suck your dick. If I get my call. What an idiot. I'm 17, you fucking creep signed the slip. Proud of you. Love you. That's bad, that. Fuck, 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 fuck. Well, I can't, bad, mate. Okay, he's still sending it to people and saying it's me. What do you mean? For you to tell Wes, to tell everybody that it's not me. Fuck, I thought you said it was Kat. I did, but I mixed that bitch up. Is this about that video of that girl getting banged from behind? Because no, it's not me. And I haven't personally seen the video. Is it because the girl in the video is fat, Principal Hayes? She's doing oh, well, man. Thing. She's actually Just doing well. Thinking it's discriminatory. I give you my word. I will do everything in my power to put an end to this rumor. Yo, Maddie, let me take you out tonight. 
I know. I'm over Sunday night because my mom's like asking me and stuff. Are you talking to your mama about me? Uh, it's like they're in a little relationship, mate. Their friendship's blossoming. Cassie's smitten like a kitten with you. I tell you, it's not easy to hold her attention. He seems to do like like her though, so hey, I'm interested to see how it goes. Do you know what's interesting about that, right? She's speaking to some lad. I hope that she sees his face, you know, like, catfish is a big thing in it in real life. And uh, you got to watch it. Literally, if I met somebody on, on an app or something online, I would ask them to, well, yeah, I'd be like, add them on Snapchat or something, send me a picture. Do you know what I mean? Because she, all she's seeing is body pictures. Now, she got headshots on her profile. Who knows? We haven't seen that side of it. But the first episode, when she went to see Nate's dad, yeah, I was hoping that she would be okay. It seems like she was. She got whatever she wanted out of it, and he didn't hurt her, and she left. And I was like, oh, thank God. Do you know what I mean? You never know these situations. You must be scared. Even when she turned up, I think she would text him saying, I'm scared. You're not a serial killer, are you? Do you know what I mean? Because it is one of those intense situations. So I'm hoping that the person that she's speaking to is actually a guy and he's not catfishing her and like they're not trying to use her to make a laughing stock out of her in front of the school. But to speaking about that cat and being a laughing stock, she absolutely dominated it, mate. She owned it. Yo, who is it, man? Nah, bro. It's already come back later. You gotta get up out of my house right now before these motherfuckers come through. Yo, he seems scared, him. I could fucking kill you right now. Broke East Holland records for most receptions, most yards during the game, 112. And this coach is acting like he don't want to start me. You want to kill him? <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking kill him. Why you gotta make everything so sexual, man? I'm sorry. Now, when Fez said his dudes were coming over, I didn't think his dude would be this dude. I got a drop of that Cali medicinal and an ounce of Molly. Yeah. Yo. Sure you don't want no fentanyl? Nah, man, I'm cool off that shit. You ever try fentanyl? No, nah, she's good, bro. Don't look at him, look at me. You gonna love this. I'm, I'm good without you. Yo, for real, man, she's good. Tell him to shut the fuck up. Dear God, I know I've been a cunt for like a lot of my life. I'm begging you, do not let me die tonight. Oh. oh. Fuck! What the fuck, man? <laughs> Hi, Tyler. The boyfriend of the girl that you raped on Saturday night? Wait, wait, you're talking about the crazy chick that was at the party? Oh! Did you rape her? No! Oh, fuck! Oh, Wait a minute! Did you rape her? Yeah, I've got to say, you know, like, obviously when you when you venture into these kind of these kind of areas, it's a high high sensitive area. I could say one thing, and everybody can blast that they've got a different opinion in terms of the rape i think that it, like it, it's a it's, it's a dark role to go down that because in my personal opinion that wasn't she had full consent she was the one that dragged him in the pool she was the one that asked him to do it and obviously she was the one that was in control of that situation and she didn't black out you know she actually isn't blacked out so um again it's tough i actually been first-hand experience know somebody that has been accused of raping somebody which didn't happen and he ended up killing himself yeah he actually ended up killing himself and um a couple of years later this same girl claimed rape against somebody else and then it got found out that she was lying on the second one so do you know what i mean man like from first-hand experience fucking throwing the rape rape charge around like the rape name is is deep man as soon as that's out there and people hear it you can't get your reputation back and like i said the person that i knew sadly you know got to him too much so i i think that it's deep when you go down there you should never throw it out you like the way that feels it's gonna cost you 300 come on pay up little sis i only have is that the money margin? Damn, big brother must love you. It'll cost you 600 now, man. It's mad how intense it got literally so fast. Go flush that shit down the toilet and go grab the Narcan. Yo, I actually like this Fez, man. Like, he's not one that I've actually really intrigued with. Yo, is that a shower in this guy's house? Yo, I want this guy to come back and get him at some point, me. Literally. <laughs> he's ruthless that night, isn't he, mate? Literally. Yo, what's up? It's Fez. Yeah, look, 
I'm gonna need a little help with Lou. Cause I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. Tell him. I burn it down twice just for the fun of it. I don't need nobody. Oh shit. I don't need that guy you fucked in the pool. What? What do you want to know, Nate? She had to stand on a fucking thing on the wall to get his height. <laughs> I was just picking him up before. He better have fucking good intentions. Like. Yo, I'm invested in these storylines. I mean, there's quite a few of them going on. That's well cute, isn't it? Hey. Mate. Fucking mate. I am I right. How 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 far into this episode did I say after nine minutes in after Nate's introduction? I said, I'm getting this rod and I'm casting it and I'm gonna dangle my bait out there and they're getting together at least one point in this show. Literally, it might not happen, but I could see it, mate. It's always the case. It's always the people that have been through like an experience and then they kind of put a wall up and kind of makes him feel secure. And do you know what I mean? So say like in his head, he's seen what his dad done and he's like, ah, I hate this and all that. I hate masculine women and uh, blah, 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 blah. And he, that's his front. That's what everybody sees. But on his inside, he doesn't feel that way. And I'm, I'm not saying that after seeing his dad's videos, it kind of like made him, I don't know, attracted to that sort of stuff. But what I'm saying is, his front that he puts on, I knew it was fake. Um, so it was interesting. He didn't fool me and I called it. Well, it might not happen, but it is interesting, mate. But after, do you know what I mean? So, like, he's on this app and he's talking to Jules. I wonder if he knows it's Jules. I wonder if he does. Because as all this was going on, yeah, again, in that opening clip that he was doing, they were showing some, like... We were saying that he hates people that like it, uh, and he showed a car drive by, and the guy shouted out and shouted to a woman. And he started like licking through his fingers, and in my head, I was like, "You're saying that he hates that?" But that was him last episode to Jules. It literally was. He and McKay drove past, and he shouted straight out to her, and he was shouting all that shit. And I was like, "It's hypocritical, you know. You're telling me he don't like all this stuff, and quite a lot of the stuff that he's saying he don't like, we seen him do last episode, so." Again, it's funny, isn't it, mate? We've gone full circle. Like the camera, mate. The fucking camera went full circle then and went back to Nate. And it just fits. It's really interesting. Uh, so, do you know what? I'm excited to see his storyline. Because, again, I'm very fascinated with what he like what he's offering here. Do you know what I mean? Like, he seems like he he really wanted to be with that girl. Mate, the guy's gone hardcore committed. He's gone to that guy's house. Absolutely left him for dead, literally. Just left him on the floor, bleeding, took a shower in his house, where his clothes gone out, took her on a date. Uh, she called Maddie. He's bought her a present as well. I mean, do you reckon that he's convinced that she blacked out? I know he said to her that I don't think he was at the end, but I actually don't think he does think she did black out as well. I just think he's just taking it as a blank slate. But also this Kate, yeah? She was scared that a video got out. And... Um, you know, she thought people was going to laugh at her and judge her. But like we were saying, mate, 10 people finding out could be, feel like 10 million people finding out. It just depends on the personality you are. But she's seen it, it's been leaked on the internet, on a porn site. She's checked the comments, boom, mate. Everybody's loving it. All these people are saying the good stuff, her confidence is going up. Did she just join it? Now, what we've got to be careful of is she's only 17. She's in school, she's underage. You know, she that's what she used to threaten that guy with. Um... So she can't be putting content out there because she's not old enough. But she might do it face. You know, her face is not in that. There's, 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 do you know what I mean? I bet, I bet you could go online and there's many, 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 many accounts of people posting nudes and stuff that are anonymous. You don't know the face. You don't know who they are. What would be interesting is that guy that turned up in the class, did he say he was called Tyler? What did he say his name was? What did he say his name was? No, the guy that came in and started talking to her. He seems to like her a little bit. I feel like he said his name was Tyler, but I might be way off there. But I think that he's going to find out that she's going to be the one posting on the internet. But also, have you seen how much fucking money, mate, people make off this OnlyFans? Madness. 
me. You can become rich overnight just like that. Did Bella Thorne not make like fucking three, four mil in one day when she signed up to it? So it's crazy. You know, if you're confident in your body, you're not bothered about people seeing you nude and you're literally just comfortable with all your sexuality, go make absolute bank, mate. And because what? What are you going to do now in your 20s, early, t like late teens? Could benefit you for the rest of your life, could set you up. So if you've got the confidence to do it, do it, mate. Go make that money. Okay, so that is going to wrap up episode two of Euphoria. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's episode. I really enjoyed it. Again, very intense at the end there with Fez and, um, you know, and Rue want it, mate, literally. It's so, like, it just highlights how fast situations can escalate. You know, it's madness. All she was doing is sitting on the couch and somebody intimidating come in uh, and just tried to stamp his authority pretty much, which he did. And, uh, you know, he made her take a drug. Um, made Fez pay him $600, mate, so that he, you know, he just said, literally, $300, can't pay it. Guy was trying, like, touching her a little bit. He was like, look, mate, I've got the money here. It's going to be 600 now, you know, just literally stamping it down. I'm, is that little kid his brother, Fez's brother or something, his teammate? How old is he? I don't know. He's got tattoos in his face, so I'm, like, my mind's thinking old, like, you know, he's supposed to be older, but he looks that young, uh, but he seems decent as well, actually. I really do like Fez and that, that kid so far. Like, the little clips that they've been in, they've been really good now. Nate was interested in this episode. Can't believe I called it straight away after the first bit of introduction that him and Jules are going to get together, hook up or something at one point. Maybe not be in a relationship. I'm not going to go that far, but I do feel like something's going to happen between them. But maybe, though, when he finds out it's actually Jules because they don't really know each other's face and he's given a false alias as well, and uh, you know? He's called Nate. He's told himself that he was called Tyler. Um, you know, does he know that that's Jules? Who knows, mate? Literally, they're on a dating app and uh, they use it. Do you know what? How did I not see... When she was flicking through the, the, the pictures at the start, right, I'm actually going to go back and look because in my head, straight away, I was thinking, is that Nate? But because he's got a, a birthmark, very distinguishable birthmark on his abdomen, like, I don't think I've seen it, so I'd never said anything. But at the end of it, after we got the full, like, compilation montage of what Nate likes in the females and, like, what he dislikes... Uh, that's why I made my assumption that them two will talk up at one point. Now, he's obviously gone out of mad in this episode. He's gone after the guy that uh, Maddie slept with last one. Uh, he's saying he raped her, proper beat him to pretty much like, the point of death, mate. He left him, though, alive and said that you're not going to press charges because, you know, you're going to get way worse of charges than me. I'll get done for assault, you'll get done for rape. Um, now, like I said, it's deep throwing a rape comment about uh, because, you know, I I've been close to somebody who's experienced something like this in, in the life and tragically it ended um, with a life lost and that was because of obviously a rape claim that got thrown around and it turned out to be falsified and then a couple of years later like we were saying it's uh same person's trying to do it again so it, it's mad that I, I don't think you should play with uh something so deep like that and uh I want to know if this guy's going to be in the show, to be honest. I'd love him to come back and absolutely get one up on Nate. Wouldn't it be amazing if he goes and finds out that his dad's doing this and then if he finds out Nate's uh, texted Jules as well and he puts it on the internet, you know, uh, gets one back at him that way. That would be interesting to see. I thought that it'd be interesting as well because Nate's a big... Ta well, he seems like he's a, a big popular football quarterback in his school. But if something happened to his hand or his arm, wound her. In it, mate, literally. You know, this McKay, he's been saying, um, I forgot what the girl's name is, sorry, that he's uh that he's been seeing, but he's been he's been saying to her, you know, uh about he's uh all these stats are amazing. He's a freshman and like he, he's doing his head now, the coach is not starting him. And she was saying, Look, mate, that's what happens all the time to, to freshmen, don't worry, your time will come. But he's saying, Yeah, but it's, it's not the thing though. I'm good enough to be starting. She just wanted, well, she started to kiss him, like, you know, she wanted to have sex with him. He was like, look, mate, I've been, I'm, you know, I'm trying to have a normal conversation. Why does it always have to be sexual about it? And then later on in the night, he started asking her for nudes, which was really interesting, which he sent. Um, seems like her sister's the one that was friends with Zendaya, the one that tried to help her at the start of the episode. I did not like how a teacher put her on the spot, mate. You know, let's speak for five minutes about what we've done in the summer. You, Ru, you know, you get up on stage and you give us it. Why? You know what happened to her? She got, um, you know, she went down, she had um, an overdose and she, she's been in rehab. Like, why does she have to tell her story? Why, why are you picking on her, literally? Like, that's how I feel like. She literally picked on her and put her in a situation where it was always going to end badly. So I did not like that at all. I liked how her friend come and confronted her to you know, obviously try and help her. Obviously, Ruth's last out said we're not friends just because we're friends when we little kids. You think we're best friends now? No, we're not. She's like, well, if we're not best friends, mate, why are you coming to my house asking me to pee in fucking pots or something? 
it so you can go home and uh, you know, do a fake drug test for your mum. She, so she's kind of sticking by her, really. And do you know what? That's Leslie Mann's kid. I don't know if you know who Leslie Mann is, but I do. I used to watch George of the Jungle when I was a little kid, mate, and she was Ursula in it. And then, obviously, as we've gone through, I've watched pure other programmes and films that she's been in. Decent. She's in This Is For Her. She's a, she's a pretty fun actress. I do like her. So, yeah, Big O is interesting to see, uh, you know, somebody's kids doing well as well. So, I mean, it's just really interesting, you know. Uh, right now, this episode, really like Fez, to be honest. Um, I'm interested to see if that's how he talks in real life or if this is acting because he seems a well chiller, honestly. If he's like that in real life, obviously, like, not in the drugs game and all that, but, like, as chill as he sounds, he would be a good friend, mate. Literally, he would be a good friend. So be, uh, I'm excited to obviously see everybody's character progressions. You know, Jules is the one that intrigued me the most in episode one. She's still the one that's intrigued me the most in episode two, not because of her input into it, because of Nate's input now. So now she's had fucking sex with his dad. And now she's texting him. Madness, mate. I'm well interested to see where we're going with here. Obviously, the Rue storyline's really good as well. And, uh, you know, I want her to get in a straight and narrow, to be honest. And it seems like Fez, even though, obviously, he's a dealer, he don't want to give his product to her. You know, fair play. He seems like he's taking care of his mum as well. She was on a... Or somebody who was on a ventilating machine in the back. So, you know, mate, we've got a long way to go and I can't wait to see the rest of the season. So, hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, please smash the like. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.